Welcome to the day in the life of a big four accountant. My name is Nicole and I work in internal audit for a big four firm and I'm going to be taking you guys into a special look of a regular day in my life working from home. Before we get started with the vlog, I wanted to share with you guys these Christmas cards that I picked up from Desi Shop. They are a family owned business who specializes in greeting cards for all occasions, not just the holiday season, but I did pick up this wonderful pack of gold foil Christmas cards. There are 30 different unique cards which I can write special notes and send to my family and friends. They are awesome. I'm gonna have the link down below for you guys to be able to shop if you're looking for unique greeting cards for this holiday seasons or for any birthdays coming up. You can shop through my like to know it profile. I'll have all the links in the description box below for you guys to check out their website and get yourself your own specialized greeting cards from Desi Shop. So getting right into my work day, I tend to start work anywhere between 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. just depending on what's going on. On this day, I did start my work day at 7 a.m. because I had a client call at which was 8 a.m. Eastern time and I am one hour behind. I have half of my team that works on the East Coast, so I usually just adjust yeah, I think my I'm just time so tired to work like off of their schedule. So I tend to work East Coast hours even though I live in Central Time. So we have been in a busier period we call this risk assessment busy season and i'm going to share with you all more on what risk assessment is and what we tend to do during this time but my risk assessment season starts from october through november and sometimes through mid-december for some of my clients and after having a few meetings for the day i had a little gap so i had to take a lunch break so that i can just get away from the screens for a little bit and I don't do this often but I do try my best to make sure I do a devotional especially if I have the house to myself and it's quiet which was the case on this day I had the house all to myself so I had lunch and spent some time with the Lord reading um, a devotional I was following Janine Amapola's Bible challenge we were reading the book of Galatians and so here's just me I had already finished reading, but I went back to just highlight some of my um, scriptures that really hit the spot and touched me during the reading. Then it was time to fill up the water bottle and head back into my office for the remainder of the workday. Hey you guys, so I hope you've been enjoying the vlog so far. I wanted to make this vlog just a more like realistic, you guys are following me along through my day. Um, it is about to be one o'clock and I have a, another meeting. Um, today is a meeting heavy day. We are in busy season for risk assessments right now. Um, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I have eight total risk assessment calls today. My workday started at 7 a.m. So your girl is starting to feel it. So took a little lunch break and then uh, caught up on my Bible reading. And now we are back in the grind about to just prep for this next call. Make sure that I have my notes template ready and know who we're speaking with. And yeah, so that is like risk assessment. For our clients, we meet with various executives and leadership to ask them what risks they think um, are top of mind for their organization um, and to know like what their worries are or what they're thinking about for next year so that way we can create an internal audit plan to know like okay 
these are the top five risks and therefore we're going to do 10 audits for the year and these 10 audits are to address these risks. My clients do not have their own internal audit teams in-house, therefore they outsource my firm to play that role of an internal auditor. That's enough accounting lingo and chit chat. I'm about to get ready for this call. But I did want to share with you guys a couple of things that I picked up from H&M. If you guys aren't following me on social media, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I usually like to share um, all things home decor and fashion and whatever else comes to mind um, with you all. And you can shop any of these items that you see linked down below. So the first item that I wanted to show is the sweater that I am currently wearing. It's super comfy, very cozy, and I think it's perfect for the weather that is cooling down finally here in Texas at least. Um, it still has gotten hot. It's like fluctuated. It's been like hot and then cold, hot and cold. But I think it's been like in the 60s and so this, this sweater is like perfect to bring out um, during like the work day or even to go out and run errands. And it's super long so I'm super excited to style it with like leggings um, and then boots. That's like one of my signature looks for the fall winter time. The other item that I did get is this striped knit sweater. I picked it up in the men's section because I couldn't find a similar one in women's. And they had one at Mango but it was too expensive. So I got this in the men's section. Um, I think I got a men's small um, because I'm petite. I'm like, I think I'm considered mid-size because I do have curves. Um, but at the same time, I'm small. I'm five feet tall. But I picked this up in the men's section. So if you are a, a lady and you want to like get certain pieces, but like also check the men's section out. Um, it's just all about how you style it. But I got that. And then I did get a coat as well. I got this coat a while back. Um, but I needed a new black long coat so I got that from H&M. I think they were having a sale. There was like a flash sale randomly at night time. <laughs> I saw it on sale. I bought it. Um, so I have that. It's a little big on me but again with winter you're layering and you want things to be a little oversized. These loafers i'm not sure if they still have them out but i'm pretty sure you can find them at h&m but a lot of you guys asked me like what my h&m finds are for work and i had these loafers that i picked up towards the end of the summer early fall and i use them to travel for work when i have to go to the office for a casual look i use these loafers as well and then I have the um, the tweed dress, I ha like the textured dress. I got it in black this year. Last year I got it in the white. They still have them. They still have plenty of them, I think. I got mine in either large or extra large just because I like mine to be more roomy and comfortable, especially when I'm going to work and having to walk around client sites or if I'm going into the office. Usually for lunch we go through like we go to the tunnels if you're from Houston and you worked in Houston downtown you know what I'm talking about so with um, the amount of walking I just want my dresses to be more looser fitting and um, comfortable so that's a little bit of an H&M haul I'm gonna get back to work and I will talk to you guys probably at the end of the work day You are not an accountant or you don't work for Big Four if you don't drink coffee multiple times a day. I was up since 7 a.m. and on this day I did work until like 7 or 8 p.m. just because had meetings all day and then had to catch up on a regular work. Which, yeah, I know it's not the greatest thing, but I tried to limit to two cups a day and then got right back into working. Had to wrap up some report review and report writings that I was doing because this is also a time where we've wrapped up a lot of our audits for the year so trying to make sure that we have our reports completed before everyone goes out on their holiday break. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Make sure you check out some of my other videos and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye!